How you doing? I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science for Arizona Science Center. We are here at the Science Center, just a couple of us still practicing our safe social distancing within each other, but here to provide you who are safe social distancing or physically distancing yourselves by staying home with a little bit of science. So uh, you may have seen in our tease, today we are looking at how do we put a hundred ping pong balls in the air all at once. And what do you think? Well, it's time to blow some stuff up, but in a safe, controlled way. Leave it up to the experts, that's us. So this is Kim, Kim's gonna be helping us out today. You'll hear from her as well. And uh, we're gonna get going. We're gonna use a little liquid nitrogen to make this happen. So uh, safety gear on, we hope that you can hear us. Um, otherwise, uh, Josh, who is manning going to help us out by narrating if you can't hear us so make sure you let us know in the comments sound good all right, here we go. <laughs> all right so first things first i'll tell you about the setup here we've got a trash can with a little bit of water and you can come closer here let's take a look just so you know what's going on in here before we get going there is a trash can here and i will show you if you can hear me um, our ping pong balls and there's water in this wonderful trash can and that's gonna help us so you'll see why next Kim over there has a wonderful doer full of liquid nitrogen I'm gonna put on our safety gear here and we've got a regular two liter bottle and a funnel and we're gonna put our liquid nitrogen in here so let's get started all right so Kim's gonna pour go ahead and pour we'll make this work there you go Woo! Oh, <laughs> that's all right that's why we wear our safety equipment that's why we're safety equipment. All right. All right, so our liquid nitrogen is 321 degrees below zero. It's really, really cold. And as you can see, it's in a liquid form, but as soon as it hits our atmosphere, it's boiling. It's really hot compared to that liquid nitrogen. Here, I'm gonna move my hands a little bit. How are we doing in there? Let's put a little bit more in there. Woo! All right. Ooh. I'll just leave that, we're gonna leave that funnel. We're gonna keep putting some nitrogen in there because as that liquid continues to expand, that's what we're gonna to need to make this explosion happen. We're gonna use some pressure. All right, go ahead, you can let that go for a second. We're gonna see if we can uh, get it to Our funnel is actually freezing to the bottle, which is kind of funny there. See if we can get it all in there. Awesome, Kim, I think we're good. I think we're good too. All right, I'm gonna hand you the funnel. I'm in good shape. I'm gonna take off this one just because I need one hand safely to tap this. All right. You guys ready? All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cap this, and Kim's gonna explain what we're doing. All right. So while Sari is capping that, we are gonna back away safely, and inside the bottle, the liquid nitrogen is evaporating, and all those gas molecules are expanding inside. And when it creates enough pressure, we're going to hear it explode. All right, what you can't hear right now, I don't know if you can hear it, it's starting to crinkle. Woo! <laughs> and that's how you put 100 ping pong balls in the air at once. Let's go check it out. Let's see what happens. All right, you can even see that fog right up close. It was really, really loud, right? All right, so this is all of that vapor left over. <laughs> from our liquid nitrogen. Here, there's water. All of that pressure lifted all those ping pong balls up into the air, but let's see what's left of our bottle. Just to give you an idea of all that explosive force, right? Pretty gnarly, right? And yes, I said gnarly. Look at it, it's shredded. So all of the pressure inside, that expanding liquid nitrogen pushed against the edges of the plastic bottle until it just couldn't take it anymore, and it literally blew it apart. And all of that pressure is what you heard and saw lifting our ping pong balls into the air and giving you a really fun, explosive science lesson for our 1 p.m. demonstration today. We hope you all enjoyed this. You can join us every day at 1 p.m. for another live demonstration or activity of some kind, or of course, find us online at azscience.org so that even though while you're at home, you never have to stop wondering wherever you are. So have a little bit of fun with science. Join us next time with Sarian Science. Bye, y'all. Have fun.